Okay, so this is going to be a video on how to create a unit circle on your graph. Now, there's going to be a lot of steps in this video, so I'm not going to be explaining like what, what happens at each step and why I do it. Just kind of try to follow along and do the same with your calculator and keep it ready for the test. So for some, you may have already memorized a unit circle. Others, you probably don't. And this will let you find out where um, sine, cosine, what their numbers are each um, degree around the unit circle. And, and you'll see that as we start this video. So, so first, we are going to go into our y column, or y equals column. And okay, so there's nothing in here for now. But so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to our mode. And we're going to make sure that we're in radians. Also, in right here, when it says function, pair, pole, seek, you want to make sure you're in pair. So once you do that, you're good. So then you go to Y1, and you see you have X1, T, Y1, T. Just, just let it happen for now. So first, in X1, T, we want to put, since we're, since we're dealing with trig functions and we're using the unit circle, so in this, you want to put cosine of x which will and press x on the calculator i'll get you t and in here sine of t because this is what the unit circle shows so okay so so that that's all you do for now now you we need to change the video so you can see the unit circle correctly so your t max you're gonna have um zero and then in your or your t min you're gonna have zero and your t max you're gonna have two pi because 360 degrees is two pi. Um, for your t step, you're kind of the t step is like when you click trace and you go around a circle. It's at what how many increments are you gonna show? So, just what we want to find is probably pi divided by 12 because that's what we're looking at at each increment. If you don't understand that, just kind of follow through and just, just do what I do. So we want to do pi over 12 for there. Our x min, negative 1.5, x max 1.5, x scale 1, and then y min, negative 1, and y max 1. Alright, so make sure your window is exactly that, and then click graph. And you're going to see a nice circle pop up on the graph. And with that, you want to click trace. So as you click right, you're, it's going to go up to each little um, increment in the circle. So this is your first increment at t equals 0 0.26, which is which you would want to find out what that is in terms of pi. So at each increment, you'll see what what um the cosine equals and what sine of equals, and your cosine would be the x and the sine would be the y. So for example, if we go all the way here you see that the at um, 180 degrees or, or pi which t shows your x equals negative one so your cosine is equals negative one and so anytime in the calculator when it says e to negative tenth that just represents zero so when it, whatever number it gives you there just make it it's equal to zero so at this point y which is your sign would be zero so your cosine is 1 and your sine is 0 at this point. And that's similar at each point in the unit circle that you will see. So this is how to use it, finding the radians, which t would equal um, each radian. So we went up one increment. So this would be pi over 12. This would be 2 pi over 12. This would be 3 pi over 12, etc., etc. So... And then now we're up, so now um, I'm going to show you how to do it in degrees. So you go back to your window. Go back to your window, and I'm trying to remember exactly. Okay, so go back to mode actually. Go to degrees. And then go back to this. So you want to keep these angles the same, but you want to go to your um, window now. So obviously your minimum is going to stay at zero. And your T max now is going to be 360 degrees angles in a circle. Your T step 
is going to be 10 because you're changing it every 10 degrees. Your x min stays the same, everything else stays the same. So now you go back to the circle and we click trace. Now when we click each increment, this is at 10 degrees and this is your cosine and your sine that's associated with it. 20 degrees, 30 degrees, all the way up to 90. It'll show you that cosine equals 0 and y and um, sine equals 1 at 90. And it shows you this for each angle measure. So, so this is this is really how to find how to um, make a unit circle on your graph using the calculator alone. And if this video is a little, this video may have been a little um, hard to follow. So I would ask Mr. Krauss for more instructions before the test. But this is kind of the general how to make a unit circle using your calculator.